Morning, 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 morning. That was our camp spot last night. Pretty sweet. It set us up right before the road walk into Tequalamine. Um, Tequamine. Tequamine. And you, as you see the baby's limping, I'm doing the same type of hiker hobble this morning. It always takes a while for the muscles to warm up. Um, yeah, my ankle's just been hurting for the past four days for no reason. Yeah, that's uh, that's about right. So we're gonna go balls to the wall and to Kwame and um, to Kwame and on. There's about 30 miles of state park that we're gonna run out today. Um, so you can't camp in there unless at, you have reservations at specific campgrounds. So we're gonna run those miles through. Not really run. We're just gonna we're just walk. Gonna get out of the park. We yeah. needed to make sure that we set ourselves up. Yeah, we're just going to walk all day. I think that's usually what we do. Um, I think we walk all day. I don't know. Today might be something different. Maybe we hobble? We all day. Hobble all day? Yeah. Sit all day? Mm. Not all day? We're not allowed to sit all day. No, um, so, yeah. We're going to go places, probably. I think so. Uh -huh. So, today is August 23rd. We're going to eat some good miles again, and apparently we're going to see a really cool waterfall, amongst other things. So, we're going to go. We're going to go. Alright, so the morning started with a nice little pleasant dirt road walk, and I believe, oh look at that, Silver Creek Grill and Pub, food and drink, um, it's a quarter mile off trail. So if you guys are right before Tequamian Falls State Park, um, there is in fact something that you can not resupply at maybe, but a quarter mile, probably grab some grubbage at. So we start our road walk. Wow, this is cool. Feels like an out west road. I like this. Not all road walks are built the same, folks. Not all road walks are built the same. So. We have this until we enter the state park. Very cool. Look at that sky. Whoo, baby. Beautiful. Sun's just in the wrong spot for me to get a good clip of that. There you go. We are entering Tequamine Falls State Park. You enter it along a road on the NCT and then, I don't know, you find trail somewhere. Why are you asking me, guys? Why y'all think I know where, where the trail goes? I don't know Jack. <laughs> You're like, oh, he finally admitted it. I didn't have to admit it. If you watch the videos, you know I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. It's like somehow my feet take me places. And within those places, do I find knowledge? Eh. Sometimes. That's a philosophical question that you got to ask yourself. Is the knowledge outside or inside yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm having fun. Let's go places. All right, so the first campground you hit in uh, Tequamine State Park is called Rivermouth. Um, it's along the road walk that gets you into the park. So if you link your miles up correctly, you could camp there. Um, you're going to have to reserve the site. I didn't look into that logistically, so I'm assuming it's pretty easy. It's a state park, so... Yeah, if your miles link up correctly, right along the trail, right there. All right, here is Taquam River, which is pretty awesome. Um, you're also still on the road, so I'll get you a quick view and then pop the camera away so I don't get hit by a car. Okay, I successfully didn't get hit by a car. Beautiful. Lake Superior, right there. Road curves around, you can still see it. Beautiful river to the left. I think today's gonna be a good day. Almost all of our day is gonna be in Tequamine Park. I think it's like 30 miles long um, along the trail. So pretty much the majority of our day is gonna be inside of it. I'm excited. Beautiful. You look way in the distance, 
that little line of blue it's either canada or an island in lake superior i like to think it's canada so beautiful Sorry for the glare, the sun is like right in the bad spot. But Magpie did in fact inform me that that is not Canada. I still like to hope it though. You can't see all the way across Lake Superior. There's no one. It's I'm, not Canada. I'm looking at Canada right there. Hi. And Canada right there. No, that's the other end of the bay. Canada? Wait, Canada? Yes. Canada. No. Canada? Yes. Canada. No. Why aren't they both Canada? That's still Michigan. All right, so we're sitting at, um, there's better lighting, at some little pullout um, right after Rivermouth Camping. There's a little couple privies next to us, and the trail is like right over there, right there. Right across the street. So we decided to sit here. We got a few Gs. Um, Upper Peninsula, you don't got much Gage. So I'm doing some internet chores real quick. It's like 9.30, 9.45. It's 9.45. 9.45, so... We're about to get into the fullness of the park and we've got nothing but a good day ahead of us. So we're enjoying Lake Superior. I might actually even touch it. No, I'm gonna save the touching for pictured rocks. Is it still Lake Superior, right? Yeah. yeah. It's Lake Superior all the rest of the way. Don't touch. Magpie said don't touch until pictured rocks. I like touching shiny things though. I'm doing a fake touch right now. Pat, 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 pat. I've been trying to get my podcast to download for an hour and I'm very <laughs> close to just giving up. Okay. So I didn't capture the moment on camera, but I gave Magpie another love box of chocolates this morning, right before we sat at that little break spot. She said the flavor was caramel. What, was it a caramel flavor, baby? I don't think that's the trail. No, it's not, it's the road. Baby went wrong way, have fun. It doesn't go anywhere. Bye. Just goes to the river access. Blue blaze right there. And now, with Magpie taking the wrong turn, I have the opportunity to give her a more box of chocolates love. If you don't know what I refer to as box of chocolates, it's farts. Baby, you wanna you wanna open up another box of chocolates? No, thank you. Love you. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm just a kid. Just a, I'm just a giant kid. Yes, you are. Oh. That is bootylicious, beautiful. Bootylicious, beautiful. Yes. What did you think I was talking about? I have a very strong feeling today we're going to hit a lot of trail that has a lot of infrastructure. Um, bridges, well tread tread, a lot of stuff that you can assume would happen at a state park that gets traveled quite frequently. So we've got some good living ahead of us. I think we're gonna try to take a lunch break. Might be a little earlier than we prefer, but before it cuts away from the river. So, we're gonna keep walking places for now. It's like we walk places. Just got the best picture of the trail. Why, what does it say? Don't, doesn't say oh. anything, but that, it's, um, it's impressive. Somebody a heart on the other side. It's very impressive. Sometimes you see those bubbles, but that is a straight buble. That is the most anatom anatomically correct that I've seen. Yeah. Let's just say it that way. There's been other bubbles, but anatomically that one is takes the whole kid and caboodle and emphasis on the caboodle, the caboosel, the caboosel, the kid and caboosel. Yeah, they understand what you're saying. Oh, okay. I didn't know how many more puns I needed to make. No, I feel like a, um, it's not Disney, but there's um, a version of Peter Rabbit that was uh, done sort of almost semi-animated. Like, it was like a VHS tape that was like, 
the best taste that I had as a kid. Except that they like they had chewed the opening bigger so that they could do that. That's a big pipe, baby. That is a big pipe. Mm. Yeah, that pretty often. That's not a rare saying in our hiking duo. You're really on the joke train today. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, you know, since it, you were like, man, and somebody said that you couldn't watch the video because of the commentary. Yeah. I think this is the commentary. What type of commentary? The jokes. Uh-huh. Yeah, the non-stop jokes. A plus. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Somebody left his trail magic. Uh oh. It's a bit warm, but we've got cherry coke. Oh, awesome. Oh, nice. And a coffee pot? What's the coffee? Oh, something. Oh, no, I got. It's the really in the sun. The pack's so heavy. Uh, I gotta really play with my batting average right now, too. Thanks so much for the trail. Back to something. Mag oh, here, welcome to the UP, Magpie and Constantine. Oakley, Sean, Sarah, Oakley, Blue. This was the 19th. What's today? The 22nd, 23rd. Thank you, guys. That's really cool. Oh, I'm really pushing this batting average right now. Go have a poop and then film stuff. Because I want to film the grand reveal. All right. Oh, Thomas, no. Cookies. <laughs> they really packed it full of candy. How heavy candy. is the box? It's a little heavy. Yeah. Skittles, lollipops. Baby needed more candy, didn't she? I you? did need more candy. Starburst. Oh, I love this. Jerky? Jerky and apple pie liqueur. What? They gave us whiskey, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> and lip balm. Whiskey and the lip balm. And Those go together. Twizzlers. Whiskey and lip balm is for and naughty also time. A <laughs> Cherry chopstick. I'm Pine Constantine. Enjoy the snacks. Feel free to leave behind anything that doesn't appeal to you. Safe travels, friends. Enjoying the UPA. Talk with trail friends. Oh, thank you guys so much. Oh, I want to appreciate this, give it more appreciation, but I really have to go dig a hole. These were getting close to only batting 95%. <clears throat> oh, and we got a sticker. Okay, I like go stickers. Dig a hole, then we'll go through this. Okay, I'm going to take a picture and go dig a hole. All right, lunchtime. Um, a little more spread out. Here's the goodies. They hooked us up with they did really good with hiking food i love people's different tastes like it sometimes revolves in the similar but like there's just enough difference in the taste of what people have that it's a nice variety um they gave us two whiskeys <laughs> apple like, and cinnamon whiskey um, like fireball i don't know if we're actually gonna take these i want baby to down both of them and then film her while hiking no oh okay that would not be a very productive hiking day no um so we're sitting here doing some lunch. Magpie, can I ask you to hold this real quick? So this one is to for Jim and Elizabeth. Um, not this. I'm going to eat this. But this is for y'all. It's been a while. I think we had talked about it a while back that you wanted proof of life. Um, Are you looking for Patrick? No, not Patrick. Oh. Proof of life for... Oh, oh, I forgot about that thing. It's like jello, baby. It's so far you down You should have here. just prepared before you asked me to start holding a camera while I was in the middle of doing something. People know what my filming style is. Here it is. Proof of life Ugh. for the spam that is close to lasting for 3,000 miles. It's nasty. This has started with us since Vermont, and we're at like 2,900 miles right now. If you squeeze it, it has disintegrated and reformed and disintegrated it's like jello. Spam is already like jello, but this consistency. It's like I would weak be, jello now. I would be very curious to know what type of person would eat this at the end of a hike. And I'm not saying it now that I will, but I'm saying it's a possibility. Oh, so I might revolting. have found a goal that I might eat spam at the end of the hike. Okay. Just in Ohio alone, this thing was just like nasty. Oh, baby, want to give it a smell? No, I really don't. Oh. I would like to be able to eat. So Okay. Whenever I wonder why there's ants in my pack. It's the spam. It's the spam. So, shout out, Jim and Elizabeth. I'm sorry about the delay, but proof of life, the spam is still with us. Ew, it's so nasty. Okay. Okay. Whew. I finally found my elastic band that you lost. I gave it to you the night before. And then I lost it. Yeah, you did. Okay, lunchtime.
that's a nice bench. That's stained, that looks lacquered. Um, Y'all did a good job. Abby's, Abby's Rest. Beautiful spot too. Y'all did A-OK -okay on that bench. Purdy, has a purdy bench. I'm gonna need some, nope, you know what? I'm not gonna do that joke. Gonna withhold that one and keep hiking. Good job, Constantine Brain. So the trail, once it leaves the uh, river bend, gets a little bumpy, but really beautiful bumpy. Um, you get on top of these little, again, ridge lines is a loose word, but you get on top of these like ridges and just get a hug them and just kind of run them. It's nice. I'm a fan. Don't stop, get it, get it. All right, so maybe about half a mile from Old Stove Campsite. If you're going our direction, northbound, look off to your left. And you see this, it looks like a creek, but it's actually a spring. What made me stop is if you look off to your right, no creek. So it's coming from somewhere. It's being filtered straight out the ground. Super yummy water. And once you get down in there, it's like tucked in the to a rock. So, ice, ice, baby, spring life. We're really, 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 really running late today. I know, half a mile before old stove campsite. So get it while the get in's good. All right, so this is where the old stove camping icon is on Gaia maps. It's kind of like right there. Or like if you drew 50 yards over there. But there's the backcountry camp and site sign it's about 0.2 or 0.3 back, so don't be fooled. Um, of course, go with the ground truth map on it. Um, this is where the icon says camping is, but there's a sign 0.2 or 0.3 back. So if you're going to Old Stove, follow the ground signs. Did you say cannonballs? I did not say cannonballs. You could go, oh, I didn't see that step there. That hurt my back. I'm surprised that my spinal column hasn't cracked in half. Very pretty. We're getting close to the Taquaming Falls, the name of the park. So, oh, well, or it got named by the river. But there's also a cool falls coming up, so stick with us. All right, so it walks you directly through a campground. Um, nice little free library. But yeah, directly through a campground. So if your miles link up, um, you can camp here. I think it's 18 miles, 19 miles from the River Bend campground that I pointed out this morning. So yeah, depending if your miles link up and you can get a reservation, come holler at it. I smell food. And they say there's a waterfall here.
Hey, baby. Hello. Water fountains at the park. It smells like some kind of a hot food situation as well. Yeah. We don't have time to stop, unfortunately. Nope. That is really pretty. You can rent a rowboat. So that must be the lower falls and the upper falls. We're gonna go past the upper falls later. I think the trail goes past both. I can see an observation deck over there. Yep. So this is the first view, and then we'll get another view. Yep. Cool. <laughs> You think if we rented a rowboat, it would count as connecting footsteps? I don't think so. Oh, we could just paddle across the entire Great Lakes. Okay. Seven dollars a person? That's not bad. Fourteen dollars for two people. For being a tourist area, that ain't bad at all. Good job. But they don't say how long you can rent it for. Five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you get in, all right, it's another seven bucks. <laughs> a third of a mile. I quit. Nope. I've seen what I need to see. A third of a mile, too far. No longer. If y'all want to get on that crypto game, not cryptocurrency, but crypto spiridium, um, I don't know why you would want to get on the crypto game. The crypto spiridium game, I would highly recommend drinking this water, no filter, no problem. Um, you definitely go get that people juice in there. Oh, baby. People will be wringing out their swim trunks in that water. Just that good, good people juice. Still not as bad as the hot. Yeah, still not as bad as the people juice in a uh, hot springs because that is like, ugh, I don't know. Just, I picture it nasty or, oh, the PNT, how I liked pooping my brains out for the last five days. If y'all want to watch me delve into deeper madness, which, I don't know, is it deeper madness on here or deeper madness on there? Go over to the PNT videos and watch the last, well, I did it in sections, so... I didn't do daily videos over there, so the last section video, you will see me pooping my brains out. My batting percentage, I'm sorry to say, was not 100% on that trail. It was not 100%. Magpie was there. Oh, I didn't poop myself. I got very close. I guess so my batting average was 100, but I'm going to even say it was 99% because I think there was a 1% uh, Margin of error of, I don't know for sure. Like, is that a fart? I don't know. Yeah, there were some very suspect uh, moments with the crypto spiridium. All right, I'm not going to film this entire boardwalk. You guys just get to hear about my poop theories. That's really nice. Splash around in the water? We can't. We have to get 15 miles. Y'all, this is that new new. That SYP new. Y'all, give it a sniff. Ready? Magpie's going too quickly, but I'm going to do a drive by sniff. Oh, it's new. It's new wood. I don't know if they replaced whatever was here or just built it, but oh, she smelled pretty. She smelled pretty. So within the first mile, you leave the very busy part of the park. Um, we've seen like 
maybe five hikers in the last mile compared to many, many, many enjoying the view at the entrance to the park. So, um, yeah, use do that information with what you will. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say there. Have fun with that information. To the Upper Falls. No, it's 389 miles. To the end of Upper Michigan. That's not correct, though. Hmm. We're at 434. Maybe know. it's the Iron Bell Trail, because I know it has a different terminus. Somebody just sharpied it in. Yeah, I know. Maybe the Iron Bell Trail only has 389 left. Because hmm. it has a different terminus. Probably 389 to the Porcupine Mountains, but I don't know why they would be drawing it to there. Maybe the NTT has changed. Again. Again. Not much words needed. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Definitely not gonna smell that bench. That has been here for a minute. I'm sorry, it ain't nothing against you, bench, but I ain't gonna put my snaws on there. You've seen many butts. And that's beautiful in its own way. It's beautiful that you have upheld so many loads. Okay, I gotta keep hiking. Alright, first view of the Upper Falls. Um, just playing in the water around here. No, you can't. And also, big falls. Upper Falls are definitely bigger than the Lower Falls, so pretty cool the trail to get between the two falls if you got time i would uh i'd recommend doing it even if you're not through hiking the nct it's very pretty yeah if you're just playing around in michigan that's a cool part of the trail Alright, so we're cutting away from the river and away from the falls. Um, it's about 6 o'clock, almost 6 o'clock on the dot. And we got, I don't know, a mile, two miles, three miles, somewhere in there. Until we get out of the state park boundary. And then we're going to start playing around back in um, Superior State Forest. So, huh? And Superior. Yeah, so, um, yeah, really beautiful state park. Um, I guess it's not a full 30 miles you're in it. By the time we pop out, it might be 25. So we camped outside of it today. So, yeah, 
beautiful park. Um, there's a lot of side trails you can explore stuff on if you want to. Um, we didn't go down all the way to the upper falls. It looked beautiful, but um, pretty far down. And then, yeah, we're already, cru we're already crunch time. Got a little under 11 miles left and three hours of walkable light. So we're going to see if we can push it. Um, technically, we can walk until 9, 10, 9... 10 and a half miles, 6 o'clock. Doable. Probably be getting in right as it's getting dark, which is okay. So we're going to go places. Oh, my back. My poor back. Oh, that's such a stretch. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to actually break my back if I keep stretching that much. It's a big pine. Oh, that hurt. That NCT gave us a bench. Hi. Hello. I know that we're behind schedule, but I want to get a snack out of my bag. Might be right on the border of the state, state park land, state game land. Thank you, NCT. So I think we're off of state land. That looks like a state land, um, state park, state park uh, sign. It's about a mile, not even past those chairs, um, a few miles from the falls. So if your miles link up, there's a backcountry campsite. This is, should be out of the state park, so I don't know why there's a sign like that, but who knows. There should be state game land or state um, forest. I don't know. Look into it if you want to. All right, so this is Little Two-Hearted River. And as you see, Blue Blaze, the trail popped out right there. We walked to right here. I think the trail goes back in right above Magpie's head. So it's about 8.20. Um, this is gonna be our water. We're behind schedule, just as I predicted. So this is- didn't believe me about, but I was correct. Okay, so this is gonna be our water source for the night. And um, yeah, we got about four miles if we wanna hit 35. A mile or two difference doesn't domino that much. But we're gonna keep hiking until we find a camp spot. No, we're not. We're gonna actually like hike until. All right. It's like 8:30, and we're cruising. Um, so yeah, gonna be walking into the nightfall today, which is okay. Um, and I don't know how much more film I'll get. It's just getting dark, but I'll try my best if I see something cool. Well, there I go. All right, end of the day. I think this is missing about a mile. Um, from the twists and turns along the riverbed. I think we did 34.4 today or somewhere close to there. Um, gonna probably check the Venza maps to double check that. On Venza we did like 34 on the dot. Magpie says 34 on the dot, so pretty close. Um, but some of those twists and turns grabbed it off. As you see, our pace was a little slower today with that river, um, but we found camp, so all's good. We and failed by one mile. Yeah, I'm gonna stop, stop tracking. So, we got camp. Um, there you go, not gonna be able to see much, so I'm gonna grab the pad, put it in the tent.